So this is how we're gonna do this one. Uh, Connie sent me two watches. One Zelos Sky Raider and one Mido Commander. He wanted me to compare these two watches since they're quite similarly priced and uh, pick which one I would choose. And I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna do it in a, a special way. I'm gonna do it in two separate videos. So um, this intro is for both videos and I'm gonna concentrate on one of the watches in this video and then in the other video you're gonna see the same intro and I'm gonna concentrate on the other watch and in the end uh, on both videos I'm gonna choose a winner and that's the exact same winner you're gonna see in both videos and that's it uh, today I'm wearing the Tudor Black Bay GMT as you can see so anyway let's get down to business so in this video we're gonna concentrate on the Mido let's start with the Mido and this is uh, actually uh, our old, old watch company. It's over 100 years old and they've been doing watches for over 100 years. And actually the brand name, uh, I'm going to give you this little uh, nibbit of a fact. The brand name comes from the Spanish Yo Mido, which actually means I measure. And uh, that's, that's cool. I'm not going to waste any time showing you the packaging because I did that in the unboxing video so i'm gonna plow through this really quickly here if you want to see that video you can uh, just click on the link here and here we have the mido watch let's pull it out of this one ah there we go take it off the pillow and here it is the mido commander Actually, it's called Mido Commander Gradient because of that acrylic dial with the, the gradiated smoky effect. Uh, this is a really nice looking watch. Just look at it. It uh, it's let's get this uh, out of the way. Uh, dress watches are really not my thing, and I I think you guys know that. I like uh, more. <laughs> Sporty watches, more uh, watches with some color, watches with some uh, t tool effect. Uh, but this watch really has that special look with the gradient dial. And uh, it's it's really something. It's really a watch that if if I were, uh, if I were a dress, uh, dress watch type of guy, I would actually consider one of these. It's from a reputable watchmaker and um, it has its own look and it does something really cool with the dial but I'm getting way ahead of myself here let's uh, get over the specifics and then we can talk about um, the pros and cons of this watch and actually I'm sorry for the angle here as you can see I'm at an angle but that's because the Sun is coming in from the right side here and I wanna catch that beautiful beautiful dial let's zoom in on it uh, and uh, as you can see you see the dial there we have it's actually an acrylic uh, underneath the sapphire glass there and it's uh, a gradient dial as you can see in the middle it's clear and you can see the movement and as it goes out to the corners to the hour markers it gets darker and darker and um, you can see the date wheel underneath and you can see the date window there at three o'clock it's a really really nice looking watch it makes you uh, look at it twice uh, and even three times because when you first take a glance at it it's actually nothing special it's a it's a classic watch we have n no further I mean no, no nothing in particular in the dial that catches your eyes except for the fact that it's um, gradient because if it were if it weren't gradient I think that this watch would be uh, for my taste a little too boring uh, we have the hour hands we have no special markings here we have the meter automatic and commander down there the hour our hands are really just straight up batons the second hand is ticking away there they're all applied the hour markers uh, but it's it's really the gradient dial that makes this watch what it is that makes it uh, special but anyway the specifics uh, the movement inside of this watch let's just take a look around here and you can see if we open up the butterfly crest clasp we have a nice open case back right there 
and that case back inside of this watch we have something that Mido wants to call an automatic Mido caliber 80 which is actually a base ETA C07611 it has 25 joules and uh, the power reserve is an impressive 80 hours 80 hours power reserve uh, that's really something that's really something great and it's a actually a quite beautiful movement to look at we have the Mido marking on the rotor there Swiss watches since 1918 uh, something that I would actually also be proud of if I were a company making watches for that long uh, yeah it's a cool movement so let's talk about the other specifics of this watch uh, we actually have a diameter of 40 millimeters we have a thickness of 10.8 millimeters we have a lug width of 21 millimeters we have a lug to lug of 40 millimeters we have a sapphire glass the water resistance is 50 meters and the weight is just 128 grams it's all stainless steel and as you can see uh, here's the bracelet it's brushed bracelet we have some polishing on the sides we have push pins for the link removals which you know that I don't like but it is what it is and we have a butterfly clasp here with the Mido commander marking really nice really nice name for a watch a commander I would just like to wear this watch maybe um, not on a boat because it's just 50 meters of water resistance but I would like to wear this watch maybe at a not in the military because I'm, I'm not a military type of guy but maybe at a restaurant you know uh, ordering people around uh, being the the head chef uh, the commander in the kitchen and just uh, pointing with my fingers serve the soup and uh, get the get the meat done this is too red Gordon Ramsay like um, a commander of the kitchen yeah a commander of the kitchen that would be me threefold clasp nothing nothing special but I really like uh, Ah, I don't know what to say. I like having a clasp, but I actually like how the threefold clasp integrates into the bracelet. It looks seamless, it looks uh, classy, it looks good, and it feels good on the wrist as well. Let us just put it on here. And there it is on my tattooed hand and there we have uh, quite a dressy watch it's quite small uh, as I said it's 40 millimeters in diameter and uh, the lug uh, lug to lug is actually also only 40 so it's it has a small footprint on your wrist it's um, yep yeah, but it still looks good I don't think it looks too small on my wrist it's just that it feels a little um, don't get me wrong here it's a well-built watch and uh, Mido is definitely a brand that I had no experience of whatsoever before Connie sent this watch to me and when he sent me the watch and I opened it up I really felt like damn this this is some this is some good shit maybe I should check Mido out and see if they have some other watches that are maybe more to my liking uh, not to say that this is not a great watch and it has a great look it looks really fantastic with that gradient dial it's just a little too petite for me if you know what I what I'm saying it's just a little too dressy for me we have uh, it's it's thin it's uh, classy the bracelet uh, is also thin it doesn't feel cheap it just feels small and thin and and classy it just doesn't feel like me but with that said if I were the type of guy that I felt like I needed a dress watch in my collection I would absolutely go uh, maybe go for one of these watches because the Mido Commander is a great looking watch it has a special look uh, that comes with it and a really cool name a Commander so uh, the dial as uh, as I said it is a gradient dial and I'm gonna point it out once more because this is what they say about it on the web website they call it a transparent acrylic 
with gradated smoky effect and as I said and I'm gonna say it again you can see in the middle you can see the movement there and you can see it gradiates out it's it's kind of a smoky dial you can see the date wheel you can see the date at three o'clock there the date wheel is actually white but uh, it's it's really something when you look at it it catches your eyes and my wife when she first saw the watch she, she said yeah, it's nothing special and then I asked her to look at it again and when she saw that it, it was a see-through and uh, that you can yeah she she thought it was uh, cool at a second glance and also from the meter web page this is actually how they phrase it the dial becomes increasingly opaque around the edges while the date the three o'clock stands out perfectly against the aperture's white background so sometimes you just can't put it better than the than the manufacturer themselves so some positives and some negatives of this watch as I said this is not a review but in the short while of uh, I've uh, had this watch in my hands I have something to say uh, something minor but still something nonetheless uh, I'm really one of the positive things about it is I'm really impressed by the transparent dial I cannot stress this enough I like the transparent dial the gradient look I really love that I can see the date wheel uh, I don't think it gets too messy I think it's actually uh, the thing that makes the watch is that gradient dial uh, another positive thing is the really impressive uh, power reserve of 80 hours I hate uh, look I, I like mechanical watches I collect mechanical watches for a reason and I actually like handling my watches winding them up integrating with my watches with that said when I put my squale down on uh, Friday afternoon after work and uh, I, I don't wear that watch on the weekend and on Monday morning when I go to work I really would like that watch to be wound to not have to wind it once again uh, and this watch you can put it on your your uh, bed table uh, Friday afternoon and Monday it's still good to go 80 hours power reserve it's something it's it's a, a good thing to have oh I forgot to show you we have a crown right there and it's uh, n not a, a screw down crown it's actually you just wind it up directly and you give the power s the watch some juice and uh, having a watch that's uh, not screwed down and having an open case back I think that that's one of two of the reasons that the watch is only 50 meters but uh, 50 meters water resistant but since it's a dress watch uh, I actually don't think you need more than 50 meters on a watch like this but uh, maybe some of you would like to have more anyway uh, another positive is that uh, it's a nice looking movement a lot of watches have open case backs I mean I've seen watches with a Seiko NH 35 uh, have an open case back and a Seiko NH 35 is nothing really special to look at but this is a good looking movement uh, and uh, it actually warrants an open case back as you can see right there the rotor is uh, really nicely done Mido Swiss watches since 1918 caliber 80 you can see the heart pumping away there it's a nice movement to uh, to behold you actually see some jewels there yeah I understand why they did this watch with an open case back which I don't usually do on every watch oh sorry let's go back there there we have it uh, negatives we have to mention some of the negatives and one of the negatives is just my personal taste taste this is more of a dress watch I'm not a dress watch type of guy it's uh, thin it's classy it's 10 millimeters thin the bracelet is actually really thin as well it's not for my personal taste I will I, I will understand why if you're the dress watch type of guy why would you like this but it's not for me <clears throat> another negative is as I mentioned before push pins on the bracelet I really hate that uh, another negative is no micro adjustments 
if you have to adjust the watch you have to remove a link they actually uh, have links in in varied sizes so that's good but um, yeah no micro adjustment and and as you can see here on the Mido it really has some disappointing loom <laughs> the camera would barely focus on it it's really weak and uh, really thinly applied on the watch but as I said it's more of a dress watch I bet they don't uh, focus on the loom when uh, when they're making dress watches but this is weak you can barely see it and uh, sure it's legible because of the hour hand and the minute hand being so pronounced compared to the hour markers but it's it's weak loom is not this watch strong uh, aspect so weak loom on the middle commander but it is what it is it's not supposed to be strong and it's weak it is what it is uh, that's all that's all I have to say about the negatives of this watch it's just not for me but if you're the type of guy that likes dress watches, that likes watches that are a little more classy, more slender, then this is a really nice alternative. It definitely uh, has a special look and it's from a brand that has been around for a while, a reputable brand. And uh, yeah, go for it. Go for it. I'm not going to stop you because it's a great watch. And guys... This is an example of how much I actually listen to you guys. One of you guys thought in the comments, asked if you could, uh, if I could actually film the watches on my right hand because he found it a little distracting with all the tattoos on my left hand. And this is actually exactly what you're getting here. This is what the watch would look on a hand, on an arm that's not all tatted up. And as you can see, it's uh, a contrast because I don't have uh, any colors on this hand this is just a watch in focus here no distractions whatsoever and this is actually what it looks like if you were to wear it and if you didn't have any tattoos on your arm this is it here you go and I'm actually going to do this in all my videos. I just have to remind myself to do it because I'm uh, forgetful in that way. But this is what it looks like. There you go. Okay. So Connie wanted me to make a choice between the Mido Commander and the Zello Skyraider 2 Ti Carbon. Similarly priced watches. This one is 1,200 US dollars. It's sold out. This one is 1,100 US dollars. Uh, the choice is easy for me because I'm that type of guy. I'm not the dress watch type of guy. So by default, the Mido here has a hard time winning this battle for me because by default, I prefer the type of watch that the Zelos is. I appreciate the look of the Mido I think it does a great thing with the gradient dial I haven't experienced that before and I love it but for me the Sky Raider wins the look of it the look of the movement on the back the the, the pilot watch look with the bracelet that looks rugged and tooly, with the open case back that's lovely, with the clasp, with the quick adjustment option there, <sighs> sapphire glass on the front and the back, uh, limited edition to 50 pieces, this is a winner. For me, this is a winner. And the reason that I wanted to buy it from Connie straight away. A beautiful, beautiful watch. And I'm going to what I'm gonna look out when they release the Sky Raider 3 because I, I guess they will release it because this one sold out really quickly as always with Zello's watches and I'm gonna hope uh, to uh, grab me one of those nothing wrong with the Mido Commander and if you you were the type of guy that would likes to wear dress watches you might choose this one because this is a perfectly fine watch feels great on the hand even though it doesn't feel great for me because it feels too light and too delicate but for some if you're that type of guy 
you might choose the Mido Commander. I'd actually consider choosing the Mido Commander just because of the name. I really think Commander is a good name for a watch. But guys, what do you think? Which one of these would you choose? Are you the Thule guy or uh, are you the more elegant, classy guy? Or maybe you're both. Maybe you would like to have both in the collection. Because you want to have that dress option. Because you actually dress up once in a while. Which I actually don't. I'm a, more of a hang loose type of guy, you know. I'm wearing jeans uh, at home. I'm wearing uh, sweatpants and uh, a hoodie. A t-shirt and a hoodie. That's just me. But what do you think? Which one of these guys would you choose? And why? Please let me know in the comments below. And actually... That has been all for this video, or for these two videos actually. Uh, I'm gonna ask you to, if you liked the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing, that actually helps me out a lot because I, I, I like to see the channel grow. But if you didn't like it, it's as important to give me a thumbs down and write me a comment on what you didn't like and I promise you that I'm gonna try to do better the next time. One more thanks, thank you to uh, Connie Fredrickson for sending me these two great watches. Uh, I hope you liked the video. I hope you liked the videos, uh, Connie. And that's all for me, folks. I hope you enjoyed yourself because I certainly did with the two, these two great watches. Anyway, have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.